Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today's a very, very big day for Dish. Big day for Dish as Dish activated its first uh, Boost Infinite customer on Dish Native 5G. Okay, so not like, you know, um, that they are just activating their first customer on Boost Infinite, but the first customer on Boost Infinite to have Dish Native 5G network access. So this is a very big step as, you know, Dish has been very confident that they have hit their quota that they need to, which the deadline is fast approaching here, June 30th. Um, they have to have, I think, 70% of the of, of the, the country um, built out for their network. And they believe they have reached that. Um, the fact that they're going ahead and starting to activate new Boost Infinite customers in select markets that have Dish native 5G access to that, to that network kind of speaks to that they may have hit that quota. Um, if you guys didn't know basically how Boost Infinite is supposed to work, literally the, the entire idea with the whole dynamic switching and everything like that, um, when you're a Boost Infinite customer, you're going to be relying on Dish Wireless Native 5G network. That is the, that is the main goal is to be, that's your primary network access where you go. Now, if you happen to go into an area where it's not available, that's where you will fall back to AT&T. And if AT&T is not available there, then you'll fall back to T-Mobile. But the access of AT&T and T-Mobile is on the premise of being safety nets for areas where Dish Native 5G is just not available just yet. Um, you know, so that's the idea of the dynamic switching. Now, I was under the impression that um, the current SIM cards that Boost Infinite customers have uh, were sufficient to do this, that it would just need like some sort of, uh, you know, like firmware update to it or something that would um, allow it to be able to connect to the, um, uh, was it NR70 is uh, the band, um, 800 megahertz spectrum. So we thought, well, at least I thought that. And, um, but it's it, they're stating that, you know, current customers in those select markets that have native 5G from Dish Live are gonna get um, a new SIM card sent out to them, I guess, uh, is the idea. And so they'll be able to access it. So you don't have to go and cancel your Boost Infinite account and then reopen another one just to be able to access the native Dish 5G. Um, you, if you're in the market that has it live, you will get it. So Project Genesis users are not the only ones that access the network now. Now Boost Infinite customers will access that network as well. Um, and so I'm thinking since, you know, 70% of the country has the network built out already, I'm going to go on a whim and say, because, you know, my country, my country, my city is, uh, you know, I think the fifth largest city in the United States. So I would like to think that they've built out here and they're you know, just waiting to flip the switch and make it go live here. And if that happens, then I'm good because I have a Moto G Stylus 5G 2022 model, which supports Dish Native 5G uh, NR70. So I am ready to test this thing out and um, really excited for it. Really exciting. Um, so, you know, very big update for Dish. Um, you know, of, amongst all the stuff that's happened to them, all the, you know, the just, yeah, the, the cyber attack and everything, you know, it's it's nice to see that it's a, it's, it's a step you know, further in, in their, in their journey, um, to building out native 5g across the United States. Um, you know, can we say it's perfect? Can't say anything right now. We haven't really tested out the network yet. Those that are on project Genesis have, and you know, there's, there's, but a few people I know of that have project Genesis that actually come forward and give us updates on the stuff that they're able to access and how the network is working. Um, there are people I know that have Project Genesis that don't report anything. They just, I guess, have it to have it. So, I mean, you know, now we're going to start seeing it. Now we're going to start seeing um, all the things that Dish is talking about. Vonr or VONR or Voice Over NR. Um, we're going to be seeing that. Um, I bel the, the, uh, the 5G network is supposed to be standalone. So, um, no reliance on LTE at all whatsoever. Now... If you're on the AT&T side, you'll be able to, because of course AT&T has LTE coverage, and so does T-Mobile, if you're on one of the fallback safety net uh, connections. But th the idea is, is that as long as there's DISH native 5G coverage in your area, that is always what you'll primarily be on. Um, fall back to AT&T if signal is weak or connection is bad. That's so it's not like Google Fi with the Fi switch map where you can force switch to T-Mobile or force switch to Sprint. It's not like that. 
Um, I'm really excited. This is exciting news. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. You guys excited for it? If you live in a market that has Dish Native 5G, are you gonna go and try and see if you can connect to it right now with your current SIM card? And if it doesn't connect, are you excited to uh, get you know a replacement SIM card active so that way you can access the network? Y'all know what to do. Chime in in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll talk to you on the next one. Law.